welcome. What's up? It's about the cards ripping retail. Our first one we're doing. Uh, it's, I'm Big Shep uh, at Big Shep 79, Tim Shepler, uh, host of About the Cards. And I have Mike Summer on at the Mike Summer from Twitter. He's hanging out with us today. He's from Sports Card. I'm sorry, Wax Pack Hero Sports Card Minute. And he's going to hang out with me today to provide a little color commentary while I open a blaster um, and two hanger boxes of 2020 Donruss. Now, I usually don't do a lot of – I don't usually open Donruss because I am I like the license and logos and stuff. Uh, but I saw it today when I was out running some errands. I figured, why not? Um, what's cool about the blaster is you're getting 11 hollow purples and five rapture parallels. And then in the uh, hanger – you could find six uh, hollow orange and two diamond parallels. So I figured, hey, these are pretty cool. Let's take a look at these parallels and see what they can do. Mike, what have you been doing in this uh, quarantine time? Yeah, I've just, I've been uh, taking advantage of this time at home to sort through a collection that I recently purchased and get a bunch of stuff listed on Sport Lots. Got some stuff ready to go for the local show if and when we ever are able to have local shows again um i've got some stuff ready to go for local show some stuff for com c and um even some stuff for Starstock, the the new site that i've been um touting a little bit giving them a chance to see what happens there but i've got some stuff ready to go for them so just doing a lot of sorting right now Nice, nice. Yeah, and I also picked up a Target uh, holiday or opening day uh, box. I don't know. They're not a blaster, but similar to a blaster box, but 16 packs plus one pack of the red exclusive parallels, which are pretty awesome looking cards if you have not seen those. Uh, I opened a, a, a hobby box this last week that I got basically for the price of one blaster. Uh, I was able to get hooked up with that, so that was pretty cool. So we're going to open that sometime this week. And then... um. Mike, since you're on today, you hopped on with me. I'm going to do a um, one of the retro rips. So I have 89, 90 hoops, 91 Leaf Series 1, or 89 tops. Which one do I do this week? She so had hoops, 89 tops, and what was the other one? 91 Leaf Series 1. Mm, let's, let's go with basketball. Since, right. you did, since you did the 87 tops baseball earlier this week. Let's go with the basketball release. All right, we can do that. So we're gonna hop into this. We'll do a, we're gonna do a hanger box. I've always really liked the hanger boxes, especially from Panini. They seem to always have these exclusive parallels that do really well. So in here, we're gonna get fifty cards, and we're supposed to find, on average, six hollow orange and two diamond parallels. So, yeah, Donruss is one of those yeah. sets that I love the. I love the 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 memories that I get from opening Donruss as a kid. I wish yep. it had logos, but we're dealing with about a 260 card set um, this year, and so um, there's definitely a good variety of of cards to be able to get from here. Yeah, no, definitely. And, and like I, I was going through, and you know what I found funny is that um, I've been working through my Royals and Giants team sets, and I was doing Donruss last night. And especially, and I didn't notice this for the Royals, but with the Giants, in like the mid 80s, they always had the same card number. So they always had a card at 50, like 89, 77. It was weird because every checklist I kept doing, because I was doing all the Donner years in a row, I was like, wait, these are the same numbers from the previous year, just different players, but they were Giants. So mm -hmm. I wonder if I'm going to go back and look and see if they did that purposely, like for a few years that it just seemed like that. It was very strange to me. So. Let's take a look. We also have some interesting like emoji parallels and stuff that we could find in here. So that would be pretty, pretty cool. So we got Cody Bellinger, Max Kepler. Now these are really nice cardstock. It's got a nice little gloss finish to it. And just imagine if it had in a, a nice little back, you're going to have one, you're going to have the career stat line on here in one season, but a, a nice little read on, on the players, Charlie Morton, Trevor Bauer. I mean, look, there's nobody at the, at the game here, just like now. Uh, Nelson Cruz, Jacob deGrom, what a Shohei Otani. That's weird. Let's see if anything's funny about the back. Uh, Mark Cattell Marte, Brandon Woodruff, Marcus Simeon. See, I mean, just kind of looks like this one, especially. I mean, it's got that softball uniform look to it. Yeah. So, Matt Chapman, uh, Ben with you, side, a little, little A's run, Jose Abreu. Hosmer, I'm really glad the Royals. I mean, he's he's a decent player, but I'm really glad the Royals never gave him all that money. Uh, Scherzer, 
occasionally oh, you get a occasionally you get a card like that Scherzer where the lack of logos is less noticeable, right? Yeah. Like the angle of the hat, you still get the full back of the card. I appreciate when they get those shots that just it's not quite as noticeable that they don't have the logo. <clears throat> Agreed. Mike Trout. I was like pulling Trouty. Nico Horner rated rookie. So this always got me as a kid. I loved uh, when they had the rated rookie logos. I'm going to give a second. I'm going to fix the lighting in here just a little bit. A little bit of a glare. All right. So Nico Horner rated rookie. And then uh, another 86 design, Austin Matthews, Diamond King. As a kid, Diamond Kings were one of the, I want to say, the best subsets. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, the artwork and stuff that went into those. We got a Josh Bell, who's actually on uh, Tops Living this week. Brock Burke rated rookie. Oh, there we go. I picked up a few of these uh, on, on the secondary market about Buster Posey, Diamond King. Never have enough. And then we have Gigante. We have a nickname parallel of Jose Abreu. That's pretty cool. Nick Solak, the only only tops, only top ranger in top series one, gets a card. You Eugenio Eugenio Suarez for the Reds Diamond King. We have an Anthony Gwynn or Tony Gwynn. That's pretty cool. This is Anthony. It gives you the career totals on the back. You know what's neat about Donners is they always gave the middle name. Yep. Yeah, that was always nice. Vlad Guerrero Jr. So not too bad. We look quite a few stars in this so far. Tony Gosselin rated rookie. Lance Lynn Diamond King. So what's that? Our third Diamond King so far. Uh, Luis Castillo. And this is a, a career stat line. Strikeouts 489. This card's numbered out of 49. It's 398. I'm sorry, 389 out of 489. And then we get to orange parallels here. Or orange, what are they call hollow parallels. Charlie Morton, Trevor Bauer. Uh, a rookie of Jake Fraley from the Seattle. The Yandy Diaz. Uh-oh. Kirby Puckett. There you go. I'd be interested in that one. And then a nickname, El, El Mago. Mago? Uh, I think that's Baez, right? Javi Baez. Yep. Very cool. And a Donner's baseball, Christian Yelich, as seen. Uh, kind of an as seen parallel. It's got a lot of shimmer to it. So that's a pretty neat parallel. And there's a Dominators. Awesome. Jose Soler mm -hmm. of the Royals. So that'll be a nice add to the Royals collection. Marco Gonzalez base. Trey Mancini is recovering. Oh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Eddie Rosario. Another Yandy Diaz. Mitch Garver. Pete Alonzo. And then a bunch of 86 throwbacks. Nolan Ryan. Jake Fraley. Barry Larkin. Don Mattingly. Daryl Strawberry, Willie Castro, and Lewis Thorpe rookie. So not bad. A lot of star power. I love uh, those. I love the '86 uh, theme this year with those. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, one of the things I, I want to say, I want to point out to people if they are um, opening up any of these, and there's any question if they have a variation or not, there is kind of a cheat for both the '86 retro as well as the regular variations. The logo in the in the upper left hand corner is different on the variations compared to the standard base card, and so you've got kind of the new design on the regular cards, but they've kind of got a red retro logo on the variations, and then on the on the old eighty six cards, the standard cards have kind of a the a clear see through. Um, background and the retro 86 cards have a black in the baseball card oh, number right. uh, yeah. background. So keep that in mind if you are not sure if you've got a variation or not. So we're going to open the blaster now. So we're going to 88 cards in here. Um, so we got, uh, what is it, 11 packs with eight cards. This pack looks a little thicker than the yeah, rest. So. I was wondering if it looked like one of those looked a little thicker. Yeah, so it could have a dummy in it, but we'll put that one at the back and just see. So how are you doing with all this? Are you working from home or? Yeah, we're working from home since a week ago Friday. So um, Friday and then all of last week, 
Uh, I've been working from home um, with my organization. So the kids have been off school for, for a while too. And so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. We just went on full lockdown here in Illinois. So we'll do, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Luis uh, Robert, Robert rated rookie. So that's a pretty awesome one. Logan Webb. What, what number is that? Um, Robert, Robert, it is number 264. Okay. We got a Mitch Garver purple and a Yu Chang 86. That's awesome. Right off the bat of Robert. That's what you're hoping to find an opening day. Cause they had that short print that was put in there last minute card 201. Uh, and I heard that had a little bit of a different uh, stock to it yet. In my box, I didn't pull one, but uh, you know, there are a couple of case I've heard. Right. So yeah. Hopefully uh, we might get one uh, this week or uh, in the opening day boss or bought. So, yeah, it's interesting that like it's a 260 cards and then there's Yoshimoto, Yoshimoto to, to Sugo. I'm not even sure how to pronounce him for the Rays. And then Robert, they're number 263 and 264. So it kind of skips numbers 261, two and three. So I'm not sure what's going on with those. Here you go. Yoshimoto Suda Sago. There he is. We pull him. We pull a purple version of it. Okay. You mention him and he shows up. There he is. I like it. Uh, we got a Cal Ripken 80. I like how they put, because these guys played in 86. Yep. And that's that's so awesome that they have the, those vets in there. And then this is a now playing. I think this is a pretty sharp insert. And um, this is Jordan Alvarez. So not bad there. You know, and I've noticed, like, I mean, I've pulled a few of uh, – Yandy Diaz base, but I mean, most of the time, I mean, it's pretty good base. The, the star names in here have been pretty, pretty relevant. I mean, you know, you're not getting a lot of like, who's that? So mm -hmm. it's Garver, Pete Alonzo, Chris Sale, who might weigh about a hundred pounds. I don't know if you saw pictures of him in spring training, but you needed to find like a sandwich. Um, Anthony K diamond Kings and Nolan Arenado, El Nino. And so check out the back of that piece. card right there. Just to show the the uh, that Ed Donruss logo up in the upper left, that's the it signifier that that's a variation compared to a, a normal card. There we go. So it has the old school. It has the the new. This is like the '90s Donruss D, and this is yep. like the eight the early '80s Donruss D. Let's Tatis Jr. Nice, a Yu Chang purple, and a Jose Canseco. But that does not look. Like a Ye A's uniform that actually looks like a Tampa uniform, but it's hard to tell. Yep. So it does say Oakland on it. I wish you had a rated rookie logo on that '86 Canseco. All right, I almost bought '86 uh, Don. Another, well, I have one. I almost bought a second one the other day. They had one for twenty bucks uh, at the LCS, but uh, I already had one, so I didn't pull the trigger. I got the opening day box instead. Kirby Yates, complete set or a Kurt, box. complete set. Yeah, that's that'd be worth it. No, it was a good deal. You know, I I think I have one or two, so it was just kind of like uh, Hunter Dozier, Dozier, uh, Aquino. Love that. I think this guy. I mean, if he can keep up the power he's putting out last year, uh, could be a pretty nice player. Rafael Devers, Diamond King, uh, rated prospect. Mm -hmm. So there's prospects in here. Christian Pache for the. And this is pretty nice. Oh, look at that. A posy purple. Outstanding. I'll have to set that one aside. Second posy. Keith Hernandez. 86. Is that yeah, also had a is that picture? Is that What's a variation? That? No, it looks to no? be. Okay. No. Yep. Um, he also had an 86 Fleer, complete Fleer set in there, too. I think that was like 30 bucks. So our, our guy does pretty well when he puts out uh, complete sets from the 80s. He, he sells through them like crazy. Uh, but he gets them in all the time. He'll buy collections from – that's where I got most of my 80 football sets from. Ramon Laureano, Alberto Montes. I think this kid's going to be an absolute stud going forward. Another Mike Trout. You chain guy. I find this guy everywhere. Papito, and that's uh, Lindor, nickname. Uh, Justin Dunn, rated rookie. Jordan Yamamoto, purple, rated rookie. And a Dave Winfield. Yeah, we had a we were supposed to have a card show two Saturdays ago, and it was the first thing that got first domino and all the cancellation stuff. And I was sad to miss out, but at the same time, totally understand. And now I'm kind of glad we did not have that show. And just kind of a yep. crazy time and trying to put out some good videos. I know these aren't as exciting as some of the Phil's polls where he's opening Dynasty and Top Sapphire, but 
you know what, <laughs> we do what we could do to, to put some stuff out there. So Chris Paddock, Jose Barrios, Mike Soraka. We got Diamond King of Bellinger, Juan Soto. I might just build this Diamond King set this year. That's pretty cool. I like that. I've always loved that six design. And then an Austin Martin, America Pride, a USA card. Willie Calhoun. Yeah, I like how the Diamond Kings are all with the retro theme. Um, they did the same thing with Downrush Racing this year, too, that all of the Diamond Kings aren't a new design. They use the retro design for them, and, and that adds a lot to it. For racing, it was the 87 design this year, which was which was pretty pretty sharp. Yeah, and Jeremy, Mike's hanging out today just to provide some color commentary. Wanted to come and hang out while I was opening some packs here. So Tommy Pham, uh, Brian Anderson, Christian Yelich, Trent Grisham, Trent Clark. Uh, if you remember his prospect cards, uh, Yelich Diamond King. So that looks good because it's got the glasses over the hat. So you're not missing out there. And then we got our first emoji parallel, Baby Shark. Okay. Baby Martinez. And then the Yandy Diaz. Got this guy too is all over the place for me. Yandy Diaz and a rookie of Donnie Walton. A couple packs here to go. Yeah, they just got the. I got it. Somebody sent me, we had a Bay City Breaker send me a complete set of the Stars and Stripes. Uh, and that looked awesome with those USA cards. That yeah. set is super nice. Very similar stock. Freddie Freeman, George Springer. Just makes me wish that this had as well Nick Senzel. But I would not want to see to see logos on here for, where if Tops had to lose the license, if that makes sense. Yep. A nickname, uh, Parallel of Acuna, Matt Thass. Uh, th Thasis, Thasis of the Angels. We have a Dominators of Marcus Simeon. We have a Purple Ship, Purple Diamond Kings, Lucas Giolito, and some guy that played for the Twins. Not sure if he was any good. <laughs> John Means, Luis Arise. Steph is a huge fan of him. Uh, Bellinger, Judge, Patrick Sandoval. We have a Dominators of Ryu Jin, Rai Jin Yu, uh, who's now with the Blue Jays. Uh, Trey Turner, Purple, and Andres Munoz, Rookie. Two packs to go left in the blaster. And the last one is is super thick, so we'll see what's What's in there? They also had mega boxes, and I was gonna pick up a mega box, but it's like forty bucks. And I'm like, eh, I'm gonna try to open a couple of different things than just one, one big mega box. Are there any uh, guaranteed hits in these blasters, or no? No, just the just the different parallels. Okay. Jack Flaherty, David Peralta. Let's see, Kepler again. Bryce Harper. It could be a Philly. He could be a National. You David never know. Kershaw. We have the Stars, David Peralta uh, parallel. Is that serial numbered? It is not, but it feels different. It has like a matte, like a canvas back. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, Goldie, purple, and then a Bobby Bradley rookie. This guy can rake. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, we have a season, what he does. All right, this is the thick pack. Oh, look at that, Reese. That's awesome. The old school uh, uni. Keston Hira should be really well, do really well this year. Aaron Nola, Pete Alonzo, Diamond King. Yeah, we do have a hit in here, so let's pull from the back. Okay. With a man of steel, Ricky Henderson on the Yankees, though. All right, we have a Doc Gooden. Our purple is a 86 Cal Ripken, which is nice. And then let's see. Flip it over, and it's a Michael Chavez, Travis. A uh, little white jersey card. So you don't expect right. to hit in a blaster. You know, Travis is a good name. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool card. So I'm all right. I'm good with that. Yeah, Always that's adds, nice. Yeah. Always adds a little bonus. I mean, mostly the reason I bought, I'm going to hop into this last hanger is I bought is for the parallels. So, you know, 
And then, hey, Mike, by the way, those 87 packs, I have those packed up over here, and I'm going to ship the wrappers out for you. Sweet. So those will be out uh, this week or on Monday. That's awesome. Yeah. They only, I think only one of them has a slight rip in it. The rest were all, they came out, they came out, or uh, they opened really easy. So I've got a few uh, pro- quote unquote projects that deal with um, wax wrappers from the 80s that I've been toying with. And so wanted to get my hands on a few and to see how they turn out. And so okay. I appreciate yeah, you sending those out. Yeah. And I'll, when I open the 89 box, I'll send those your way too. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Especially cause you send me that huge thing of George Brett's for like nothing. And, <laughs> um, oh man, I, that's the next thing I'm going to be doing is hitting my Brett collection pretty hard here. Mitch, uh, Mitch Hanniger, Verlander, Garrett Cole. Most of these guys are like, I would say like are fantasy players, right? So if you're playing fantasy yep. football, these are fantasy baseball. These are the guys you want on your team. And so that's kind of the star power you're seeing in this. No more Mazzara, Josh Donaldson. Uh, not traded yet to the not or as a free agent went to the twins, so not updated here. Still says Atlanta because this is an early year product. So this is printed uh, before that all happened. Aaron Judge, but see they got Bumgarner on the on the on the Diamondbacks in his Giants uniform, and that makes me want to vomit. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was really sad to see him go. Uh, was Xander Bogarts? I understand why the Giants need to be rebuild, but. Makes me sad. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, Jeff McNeil, uh, Josh Bell, Shane Bieber, Walker Bueller. This kid right here, I think, I think he'd be something very special for the Dodgers. I hate to say, but uh, he looks pretty, pretty talented. Logan Allen, uh, rookie. Oh, another rated rookie for Ro- uh, Luis Robert. So that's yeah. nice. Two of those, Logan Webb, and you know what? Logan Webb followed Robert in the other pack as well. Mm-hmm. Josh Bell, Diamond King, uh, Jimenez, Anthony K. All these guys followed it. Arenado. That's funny. Another El Nino. This is very similar. Aquino, rated rookie. Raphael Devers, uh, Diamond King. There's my boy, Yu Chang. Well, I might have to start a PC of him. Another uh, Lindor nickname, Justin Dunn, rated rookie. Now we have a Colton Kowser. This is out of 149, America's Pride Parallel. Okay. Uh, let's see. Garrett Cole, orange. Luis Severino, orange. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there you go. Orange, George Brett. 86, nice. orange, George Brett. That makes the break worth it. Freddie Freeman. Now, question. We were, I was doing a break today, and we were talking about um, 3B collection um, down in Georgia. He's a huge Braves fan. We're saying he's picking up Freeman uh, rookie cards. Do you believe Freeman's a Hall of Fame or on the Hall of Fame track in his career? I don't know. He's been solid. I don't know Hall of Fame, but I mean, with some of the other guys that have made it recently, um, eventually I have a feeling he'll get in. Yep, I do too. When 86, Anthony, Tony Gwynn, uh, Orange Parallel, of Vlad Guerrero Jr., Orange Parallel, a Dominators, uh, Jorge Polanco, a Dominators, Pete Alonzo, Schwerber, Sterling Marte, Juan Soto, Trevor Story, Syndergaard, Devers, Brandon Lowe, and then the 86, Abraham Toro, a rookie card, Jalen Davis of the, the Giants. The hell was that on Toro? What's up? Um, That's like all white? I think that might have been the Players Day weekend. Okay. Yeah, and I noticed that too. Jake Rogers, Wade Boggs. Uh, Mr. Chicken, uh, Gary Carter, Paul Molitor, and then uh, Travis Dimitri, uh, rookie from the 20. Travis, look at that. Travis Timothy. There we go. TT. So uh, that wasn't too bad of a, a Donner's break. A couple of uh, hanger boxes and uh, some a retail blaster. So we got the George Brett orange. These are some of the cards set aside. Aquino, we pulled two of these. Uh, two Luis Robert uh, rated rookies. Those are nice. And then uh, this is uh, Mike's boy, Yoshitimi, Yoshitomo. I'm just going to mess it up. So <laughs> a little input. A little, uh, let's see. He, uh, I think he came over from Japan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Left-handed masher pummeling four to 500 foot home runs. Uh, this past season, uh, 
for a team. He had 29 home runs, 79 ribbies, batted uh, 272. So didn't steal a base. He's not a base. He's, he's six foot, 214, left-handed, throws right, plays the outfield. Going to be playing down in Tampa. So, yeah, based on the picture on the front, he doesn't necessarily look like a base dealer. No. You know, what's funny is these don't have birth dates on them. At least this, this, no, well, at least the 86 design, this one, this rated rookie does not have a, a birth date. Okay. Because I was going to see how old this, uh, this gentleman is. He had to play a while, though, because he had 29 home runs last year. He's like 205 career home runs. So, Yeah, and I was looking at the back of this Robert, and it doesn't have his either. So very interesting, but uh, a fun break, and yeah. uh, you know, twenty minutes or so. And you know, I'm going to try to do these. I have uh, this will be the one for sometime this week. We're gonna I'm going to do opening day uh, retail rip and retail, which I st- I'm just telling you right now. I stole from Chris Olds when he worked at Beckett. They had rip and retail, but I thought I think they had the ripping retail, so I just took off the G. That's uh, right. <laughs> so it's different enough. Um, yes, for sure. Yeah. And uh, and then I'm going to do per Mike. We're going to do 89, 90 hoops basketball. Uh, that's going to be exciting. And uh, you know David Robinson's rookies in there. Mitch Richmond, uh, his rookie cards in there. So that means Danny Manning, I believe, as well. Dan Marley, uh, Kevin Johnson, Jeff Hornacek. If you're a big Suns fan from that era, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a little bit of fun. And, I, and then I also have like six to eight packages so far over here stacked up in my quarantine mail days. So I'm going to let those sit uh, some more. And then at some point I'll be doing a, a mail day. So uh, Mike, I appreciate hanging out with me here for a little bit on a Sunday and, uh, and having some fun opening some cards and chatting. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad I, I had a chance to to jump on with you as you were opening that Donner side. I haven't had a chance to open any of that yet. So I figured I would do the next best thing, and that is to, to sit here with you and and just add some color commentary as you open it there at your house. No, oh, yeah, it's it's fun. Uh, you know what? I, I recommend it if you're looking for, and I think hobby boxes are in the $80 range. Um, not a not a bad rip. I mean, because I like the parallels and and especially even this retail stuff, you're getting some exclusive retail things in there, which a lot of people that are team builders or player collectors, they're going to want to hunt down those parallels and you might be able to, to build a set if you hit the, the right parallel and, um, you know, cover your costs there. So we're always talking about, you know, financing your hobby through, uh, through selling stuff, right. Self-sustaining. And, uh, so yeah, we'll have a hobby. We had the hobby hotline on yesterday. We had Dr. Beckett on and then, um, about the cards will be live this Wednesday, always at 8 PM. Mike, you're, you're going to be doing your two podcasts this week as well. Yeah, I'm going to be doing kind of a mid-month financial slash goal update on Tuesday, just kind of sharing what I've seen from the coronavirus impacts to um, the, my various sales and um, social traffic, you know, blog traffic and and website traffic and um, podcast traffic for the, the first uh, part of this month here. And then on Friday... I just recorded this morning uh, an interview with hobby legend Dub Mentality. Oh, nice. So I'm going to be doing an interview with Dub on Friday's episode. And so that's what this week is looking like on the Wax Pack Hero Sports Card Minute. Um, But yeah, I had a buddy that opened a a few hobby boxes of Donruss last week, kind of before all this stuff hit. And he pulled a one-of-one buyback Pedro Martinez rookie auto. Oh, wow. Donruss, yeah. So um, that was a nice hobby hit that he hit. That's pretty awesome. Well, good stuff. Yeah, Dub, Dub's a great guy. Probably one of the best dudes uh, out there and loves loves the junk wax. Yep. I don't think it, I don't think I found somebody who loves junk wax more than Dub. So it's awesome. I always love watching him. And then he said he wants to get somebody to dub over his voice. I'm like, dude, no. The voice makes it. Yeah, for sure. He has that southern accent going on. That uh, yeah. yeah, it's great. It's outstanding. Well, Mike, I appreciate it. And then uh, thanks for hanging out. And everybody, thanks for hanging out with us. Hope we brought you a little bit of excitement on a on a Sunday afternoon. And we'll uh, we'll see you this week. Have a good one. See you later.